You know, for what, one thing I have to say about Ian is uh, I've, I've, I've probably collabed with so many artists, but, uh, and I've seen a lot of collab uh, artists who actually get really nervous. <laughs> si Ian parang hindi ginakaban eh, parang mm-hmm. nakikita kong enjoy na enjoy siya. Uh, he just loves the stage. Uh, uh, I guess he loves to sing um, and that's so obvious. So wala na akong sasabihin sa kanya eh because I think that's the one of the keys to a performer. Eh? You really have to love what you're doing and be at the be there at the, at that moment. Some people cause it just disappeared. Diba? Parang, yeah. It's too yeah. big for them. Oh no, I'm going to perform a lot in front of a lot of people. Pero si Ian parang akin na yung mic, akin na yung gitara. Akin na ako, you know. Hindi niya makapal mukha niya. Nice to see that you're all healthy and you're all um, looking okay, naman. Tito Ricky. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So, yeah. yun. Tito Ian. Yes, Tito Ogi. Hi, Tito Ricky. Long Hi. time to see. <laughs> um, yes, and uh, tama yung siya sabi ni Ogi. We're really excited kasi nga, na bitin na bitin kami. The last time we did so, uh, we did promo for for this uh, particular concert, tapos yun yung bilang hindi natuloy. We did all our rehearsals and um, you know we were uh, ano na eh, yung show 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 time na lang ang problema na yung night ng performance eh. So nabitin kami don and um, now ako I'm really excited and I'm looking forward to playing with the whole band again. And yun yah it's not it's not a virtual concert na. Alam niyo yung um, parang setup lang because pandemic bahay bahay setup is no it's nothing like that uh, it's it's a full concert setup with a full band with a with a set with props and everything so it's uh, it's legit it's the real thing Hi, anyway I'll be aside lang muna kagabi na panood kita doon sa TV5 yung Obi Dubido si Dubido at pwede ka palang maging sex comedian, sexy comedian. Ang ganda ng extent niya. Oh, ni ni oh, oh, Eugene, Eugene Domingo. At naka, naka-brief ka pa, naka-underwear ka pa. <laughs> oh my God. Bigla, bigla ako nahiya. <laughs> Ay, hindi, ka, Ay, oh, hindi ka ba oh. nag-sayko films dati, Tito Ogi? Dapat nag-sayko films ka dati. <laughs> Pero, Ogie, ah, pala yung post ni Ogie ngayon sa Instagram, di ba? Ang sex-sexy niya pag magsiswimming siya, di ba? Oo. Anyway. Okay. Mundi na yan. Anyway, yes, literally. Eh, ang title ng ano nyo, ng concert is Kilabotitos. Yes. Para mga titos, di ba? Meron tayong kilabot ng mga kolehiyala, kilabot ng mga matrona. Kayo ba mga titos, kilabot ng mga... Anong edad? Oh, titos eh. Kailan mo titos, di ba? Oo. Uh-uh. Uh, mga titas at mga lolas. Titos at titas. Oo. Oh. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, actually, uh, uh, ano, Tito Ricky, hmm. bigyan kita ng experience. I remember, nag-meeting kami ni Ian. This was probably two years ago. Uh, Doon sa concert mo, di ba? Naalala mo. One of our meetings. Eh... An- ano nga ang restaurant yun? Uh, so, La Creperie. Oh, paborito yata ni Ian pumunta. Anyway, so I met him there. And then there, <laughs> there were these group of titas na nag-aantay. Uh, <laughs> kay Ian, actually. Uh, dahil papakamatay sila para magpa-picture, ganun-ganun. So nung lumabas siya, then lumabas ako, nagpa-picture na rin sila sa akin. So I, I instantly parang thought, wow, Si Ian talaga, <laughs> tita killer talaga eh. So, <laughs> so I, I thought, no, this is, this is, these are the people that, you know, um, yan ang mga laging nanonood ng concerts namin, concerts niya, nanonood ng mga teleserya ni Ian, and I guess the people who grew up with watching Bubble Gang and, and, and all of that, and SOP of course. So, umaga sa target audience, yun talaga, Tito Ricky, yung mga... 
And you don't have to be an old tita, di ba? Meron mga tita na medyo mga oh. mata eh. In their 30s, mm. in their 40s. Yeah. Mm. 20s. Grabe, mm. pag sinayo mong mabata-bata, 30s na. Oh my gosh. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, Ian. Paano na, paano na form yung concept na mag-tip up kayo sa isang concert? Go ahead, Ian. Doon nagpula. Uh-huh. Um, um, ang first time uh, I, that I worked with Ogi was uh, yung, he produced uh, my concert Ian in Color in Music Museum mm-hmm. that was yeah. uh, two years ago and then mm-hmm. um, nag-guest din si Ogi doon si Regine nag-guest din doon and then um, wala, nag-enjoy lang kami sa tugtugan tapos uh, sabi ni Ogi uh, na gano'n niya na concert kaya tayong dalawa Uh, ako naman, siyempre, uh, ito, eh, si Ogi, totoong singer. Alam mo yung totoong, bata pa ako, Ogi na yan eh. Na, oh, teka, teka. Pina, da, pinapanood da, natin da, sa mga da, kantahan eh. Ah, okay. Da, da, okay. Da, <laughs> okay. Bata pa Hindi. ako, pinapanood tayo sa TV, no? Joey and San. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. Sa una ka sa akin. Anyway, go ahead. Anyway. Um, teka yun niya. Um... I, I felt so welcome in the in the music industry because nga um uh si Ogi, si Regine, um Miss Shaja na guest din noon, uh, they're all very supportive. And um as you know, I'm an actor naman talaga and I'm just trying out uh, music because it's something that I really love and something I've enjoyed uh my whole life. Pero it used to be just for for me. It's not for, you know, public performance, but it took me a long time to To, to have the confidence to to actually um, perform in front of live audience it's because of that uh, a love to last na show namin ni Bea noon and mm-hmm. yun uh, kaya kaya napa-recording ako noon and uh, pa piano and guitar and stuff and na enjoy ko talaga and i'm i'm really happy now that um na yun nga kumapal na yung mukha ko na kumanta in public kasi dati hiyang hiya talaga ako okay. mm-hmm. so uh, I, i'm really enjoying it So, paano yung repertoire niyong dalawa? Paano yung pinag-jive na uh, mabuo yung ano nyo through songs? Yung choice of songs nyo pareho ba? We love the same kind of music kasi yun mm-hmm. yung more or less ang age namin hindi naman kami magkalayo ng age so even the sensibility sanay kami yung mga yung mga jokes namin uh, yung humor namin yun yung pre-internet so mm-hmm. Yung mga sanay kami pag uh, mga usapang Betamax, mm-hmm. usapang, yung mga, yung mga lumang bagay. Um, yun, kaya magka, mm-hmm. magka same wavelength kami. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, okay, aminin natin mas bata sa akin si, si Ian. Okay, pero um, nagugulat ako talaga. Gustong-gusto niya yung mga... You know, uh, songs of uh, James Taylor, yung mga ganyan. Uh, yun talaga yung, kasi yun yung smack na high school ako eh. So, I, I don't know, you probably was listening to it too. Para siyang mas lumang tao siya eh, di ba? So, I, I think yung, yung appreciation niya for yun yung music from the 70s and a little bit of the 80s, ang sarap eh. Kasi they don't, hindi na sila gumagawa ng ganyang music. Um, but a, lit, a lot of people still listen to that kind of music, lalo na ngayong pandemic, di ba? Papansin nyo, pag itong pandemic, parang yung Spotify ninyo o yung mga plaka ninyo, biglaan yung pinatugtog lahat, di ba? So, um, I'm sure na may miss na mga tao yun eh. So, uh, it's, it's great na si Ian also prefers the music of that era. Um, okay. So we're not gonna try, uh, I think, dito sa repertoire namin, we're not gonna try to, you know, pag may concert, oh, kanta tayo ng bagong kanta, kanta tayo ng mga, ng mga bago mm. ngayon. Kasi parang, pag kinanta mo rin naman yun, okay lang, sige, but, you know, our market will say, sino, sino kumanta nun? Ano kanta yun, di ba? Parang, mm. we didn't wanna alienate all of the people mm. who wanna watch their concert. So, yeah. One more question na lang, uh, sure, sure. So, briefly, uh, Ogi, anong mga tips mo, advice kay Ian uh, as far as singing uh, is concerned? Si Ian, hindi ako ba ba ng tips mas yan? Eh. Hmm? <laughs> you know, for what, one thing I have to say about Ian is uh, I've, I've, I've probably collabed with so many artists but 
Uh, and I've seen a lot of collab uh, artists who actually get really nervous. <laughs> si Ian parang hindi ginakaban eh. Parang mm -hmm. nakikita kong enjoy na enjoy siya. Uh, he just loves the stage. Uh, uh, I guess he loves to sing. Um, and that's so obvious. So wala na akong sasabihin sa kanya eh. Because I think that's the one of the keys to a performer eh. You really have to love what you're doing and be at the be there at but at that moment. Some people because it just disappeared. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. too big for them. Oh no, I'm gonna perform love in front of a lot of people. Pero si Ian parang akin ay mic, akin ay gitara, akin na ako. You know, hindi niya makapal mo kanya, but you know, I gusto ko yun eh that that. And that's the mark of a performer. So, wala na akong masasabi kay Ian. So, Ian, very briefly, what did what they learn from uh, Ogie? Um, his, ano, yun nga, his love for music. Kasi, seryoso ang music. Hindi naman laro-laro yun. Eh. Kasi nga, I mean, lahat naman tayo mahilig sa music. Pero, yung, yung attention to detail niya, yung, uh, yun nga, sa arreglo, and uh, the sound, mga timpla, sa mixing, He's very particular about uh, different aspects of uh, of the show, pagdating sa music, and um, I I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I don't even have to pretend that I'm enjoying. Because pag nagerini ko palang yung banda, tapos in sync lahat, tapos kunarin si Ogi kumakanta. Kung pwede nga lang hindi na wakanta, iba nunod na lang ako, makikinig na lang ako, kasi parang Nakakalutang eh. Nakakalutang pagpasok lahat. Yung drums, yung bass. Tapos maganda yung templa. Ay, sarap. Sarap lang talaga. Okay, so, thank you, Ian. Thank you, Ogi. Thank you, Tito Ogi.